Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Prime Minister, contrary to the misleading statement made earlier about climate policy by the Environment Minister, it's the Albanese government that voted with the coalition to frack the Beedaloo Basin and, even, and expand gas expansion, even more harmful to short-term global warming with methane emissions. Recent warnings predict we are going to tip over 1.5 degrees by 2027. Do you accept that it is greenwashing to, on one hand, approve new coal and gas projects when and the advice is clear, this must stop. The call to the Prime Minister. I thank the member for Warringah for her question. And I acknowledge the fact that she has a genuine commitment uh, to act on climate change with the majority of this parliament. But the leadership for that is coming, of course, from government. Yeah. Because it's governments that change policy. Yeah. It's governments that changed direction of a country. And it's this government, this government that inherited more than a decade of denial and delay and neglect when it came to climate change. This government was elected with a platform of 43 per cent reduction by 2030, and we delivered that legislation and that target. This government was, was elected with a platform of Z net zero by 2050, and we delivered that. This government was elected with a platform of making renewables 82 per cent of our renewable energy market by 2030. And if you look at what has happened to investment in renewables since we were elected, that is happening. That is happening. And why it's happening is because we provided investment certainty through the safeguard mechanism that was also delivered by this government. In addition to that, we of course have signed the methane pledge at the UNFCCC meeting that was held in December of last year. And just on the weekend, in conjunction with the G7 uh, countries uh, meeting in Japan, uh, I engaged constructively uh, with Germany about the opportunity that is there for hydrogen, with the United Kingdom about the opportunity that is there for exchange of critical minerals and renewables as well, with Prime Minister Modi, who we'll have further discussions with tomorrow about our renewable energy partnership and what is possible for both of our benefit going forward. We continue, of course, as well to engage with the United States, who, through their Inflation Reduction Act, is by far the most significant investment by any government in driving down not just emissions in the United States but globally as well. And with the arrangements that we have that will enable uh, much more cross-fertilisation of engagement uh, through the changes that President Biden is, is putting forward to Congress, that will open up opportunities for business. What we understand is that good action on climate is good for our economy and good for jobs. That's why we're delivering it, and that's why this government, including our energy minister and, in, and our environment minister, will continue to deliver that better future by acting on climate change. Yeah.